Here we show a visualization of ion exchange separation. The surface has a net positive charge and retains the single charged negative ions. The glow around the ions represents the solvation layer that forms around the charged particles in this aqueous solution. This solvation layer minimizes interactions between the ions in solution. Here we show a visualization of doubly charged ions in an aqueous mobile phase. The conditions here are nearly identical to those shown for ion exchange separation. The surface still has a net positive charge and retains the doubly charged negative ions. The aqueous mobile phase still minimizes the interactions between the ions with the solvation layer that forms around the charged ions. The positively charged analyte represented by the larger gradient ion is not retained. Here we show a visualization of single charged ions in a highly organic mobile phase. The conditions have now changed significantly. Since the solution is no longer aqueous, no solvation layer forms around the ions, so the ions are able to interact and form tight bonded pairs in both solution and on the surface. This pairing transforms the surface from having a net positive charge to a net neutral charge. The positively charged analyte represented by the larger gradient ion is not retained. Here we show a visualization of the interactions that generate BIST. The doubly charged modifier ions have been introduced to the highly organic mobile phase. Since the solution is not aqueous, the doubly charged modifier ions pair with the surface, generating a net negative charge. This allows for the positively charged analytes to be retained.